All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. David Haney taking on Ryan Garcia. It's the time. It's finally now. Let's see what happens. Oh! Oh, shit! Damn! Garcia actually comes across this and actually tries to hit him and make it in a fight. And then Haney, each time Garcia comes across, he just grabs him. So I like this, I like this style that Garcia is applying to Haney. You know, try to pot and show. Oh! oh! He dropped him! He dropped him! This is when Rod Garcia does his best work. When he just takes it to the opponent. Just take it to him and he's going to knock him out. Because Ryan Garcia is actually fighting. Devin's doing too much boxing. Oh, he's going to get on him. Just get back the fuck up, ref. That's not a knockdown. Are you kidding me? Oi, oi. Oh! Dropped him again. That's what I'm talking about. If Ryan just fights, he beats him easily. Dude, they're, they're holding on. Let him go. Oi! Beautiful right hand. Oh! Another drop! Another fing drop! Dude, the fight is over, man. He's dropped the guy. They want Devin to stay in a fing fight. I have Garcia winning that fight. There has come a point in time where boxing comes down to who's actually hurting the opponent and who's actually trying to who's trying to end the fight. And as I'm watching it, it was Garcia trying to end the fight. Not Haney. Haney was trying to be too much of a tactician and try to just land certain shots and not play it safe, but he couldn't get to Ryan. Each time he tried to fight Ryan, Ryan would put him on his ass. Wow, the fight. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And my, oh my, was that a fight or not? Okay, let, let, let's get... Let's get started. First off, I had Devin Haney winning this fight because if you look at all the Ryan Garcia's antics up leading up to this fight, everybody was like, he's not taking this fight seriously. The guy comes in three pounds overweight, so he had to pay Devin Haney $1.5 million, $500,000 $500, a pound. He comes in overweight, drinks a beer on a scale, is acting all types of crazy in New York City, and he comes out and he gives Devin his very first loss of his pro boxing career. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm shocked how well Garcia did against Haney. Because when you look at Haney's fights in the past, Haney's very good about slowing the fight down, getting behind his jab, and making his opponents miss. But if you go back and look at his Lamashenko fight, when Lamashenko would jump on him and actually do combinations, he would win those exchange. And tonight, that's what we saw against Garcia versus Haney. Each time Garcia went after Haney, he would always put him on his ass. What do I mean by that? Devin would never commit. He would, he would get close, he'll wait, he'll wait, he'll wait, he'll wait, he'll wait. And then Ryan Garcia would turn his back and he'll keep beating up the flank, which is an illegal shot. And then eventually, he will get there and throw a hook and Ryan Garcia would block it. Those don't count. And boxing, if I block your shot, it does not count. I actually get points for blocking, right? Now, when Garcia would get after Devin, that's when Devin had the worst time in the ring. Because when Garcia would get at him, he would measure his jab. He would throw his, his hand out there and measure. And then once uh, Haney would try to do something, he would catch him with that check left hook. A couple times, he would go jab, left hook. Every single time. And each time Garcia would go after him with the one-two or the hook, he's always putting the... He's, he's hurting. He's hurting Haney. The thing that was very frustrating about this fight is that the referee kept Haney in that fight, I felt like. I felt each time Garcia would hurt Haney... Haney's hanging on to him, and then next you know he does a double leg takedown, and then the ref's like, stop holding him, stop holding him, stop holding him. It's like, but time, you stop holding, and you stop holding, fight. It's like, dude, you just gave him like 15, 20 seconds of, of a rest. You stopped Ryan's uh, momentum to finish to finishing him. Oh, God, that was probably the most frustrating thing of watching the fight is that, you know, and Garcia, each time you come with the one-two or one and left hook, you know, Haney will come in there and lock him up, and then he'll grab his head and suck it down. It's like, I feel like boxing has to start penalizing people for turning their back. It's not, it, it's like, 
you're, I'm turning my back and I'm stopping your progression as an athlete or, or a boxer. Once I turn my back, you have to stop. It's like if I can stop him by just turning my back, then they need to make a rule where it's going to penalize the, the athlete for turning his back because that's stopping my combination. If I come and go one, two, three, and you turn your back, I'm like, I have to stop because I can't hit your flank and I can't hit you the back of the head. Stop fucking turning. It's pissing me off. I'm getting pissed off right now talking about it. So but let's get back on track. I apologize. I get emotional and I'm passionate about combat sports. Okay, now... That was the, that was the difference in this fight. The X factor was Garcia actually going out there to fight. Devin was so hesitant and, and cautious from that very first round. Ryan Garcia jumped on him like right on rice, hit him with that blistering left hook that nobody ever sees, and that put him on his butt. And I think that was the difference of the fight because Haney would never actually get after him. And when he do is when Garcia would take the round off. What do I mean by taking the round off? You would see Garcia. Prancing around, moving around, doing X and Y and Z, just moving around, you know, showboating a little bit, and then the round would end. The second, then the next round would come out. He, Ryan will get right on, right back to work, start bl doing combinations, and then when Gar when Haney would start to respond, not by backing up, or he would respond by two ways: either ducking his head, and coming in, or trying to exchange with Garcia. That's when he got in trouble all the time. Each time he tried to exchange with Garcia. Garcia, he went a beautiful left hook. Hang on, it was right hand. Then the left hook dropped him. Or he would come in and Ryan Garcia would hit him with that right hand all the time. I'm shocked they didn't, they didn't stop the fight sooner because he kept getting dropped. That one round, he was like hanging on to Garcia. I was like, dude, the fight's over. Like, the fight's over. And here's another thing. If Ryan Garcia would have lost this fight, I would have said boxing is bullshit. Reason why is that they have to stop scoring the fight by all these punches land and, and miss or whatever. They need to start scoring the fight like who's actually trying to finish the fight and who's actually putting the most pressure and damage on their opponent, right? If you look at the Tyson Fury versus uh, Francis, Francis, Francis lost that fight, but Francis did way more damage than Tyson Fury did. And I felt the same way in this fight. I felt like Ryan Garcia wanted to end this fight. I felt like he wanted to put Haney's lights out where Haney was staying true to a boxer, hiding behind his jab, trying to, you know, look good and, and be very technical, getting to him. And when Ryan Garcia would shut that shit down by just over, and Ryan Garcia did make a lot of mistakes. You never want to go like this and hold your hand out and, 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 and look for your opponent because that's when you got caught with the, the, the jump and left hook. But he, he didn't get dropped. So now, what happens next do i want to see a rematch uh you know what i wouldn't mind seeing a rematch i hope brian garcia comes in on weight um i think he he missed a huge opportunity to become a champion at the division to get Devin haney's belt but then the day when these guys are making 25 million 30 million dollars who gives a fuck who the champion is they've already been champions now it's about making as much money as possible and and, and yeah, making as much money as possible, especially when he's okay to give away $1.5 million for missing weight. Um, but very, very fun fight to watch. Uh, a lot of wrestling, a lot of holding in this boxing match, even though it's not a wrestling match. But I want to know what you guys think of this fight. Were you guys surprised how Ryan Garcia came out with all the antics he did leading up to this fight, him acting all crazy, him missing weight, three pounds overweight, drinking a beer? I'm not going to lie to you guys. I thought... Devin Haney was going to whoop his ass, but I was wrong, and I'm okay. I'm, I'm happy that uh, Ryan Garcia came out victorious, and I don't get it right all the time, but you know what I do get right? You know what I do get right? <laughs> Boys, we did a little, you know, little the Mighty Cast, we we did a little, uh, made some good picks tonight, good picks. We made picks. We split it up. That's one of the things I love about prize picks is that you can go with boxing, or you can do a little NBA. We have the NBA playoffs going on right now. LeBron James did very well today. We went with more. LeBron James went more with him, 20, 24 and a half points. So he had to score 25 points. He did that. And then we went less with Devin Haney with him landing 125 and a half strikes. So Devin Haney had to land 126 strikes. I didn't think he was going to be able to land that because Ryan Garcia is either going to get knocked out or he's going to knock you out. And he damn near almost did that against Devin Haney. So the mighty cast, we walked away with a good little green tonight. Shout out to Price Picks. Love playing a daily fantasy sports game because it's it's fun. It gets you a little more invested in the game. I watched the NBA game earlier and now I'm watching boxing. LeBron covered. Damon Haney, he went less. 
Everybody in the mighty cast, the mighty team, we are sitting happy. So, boys, if you enjoyed this live reaction, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to read in the comments to see what you guys are thinking about this, uh, this fight because it was good. I can't wait to the next boxing match or the next mixed martial arts match or whatever's on TV. Cheer. Well, damn, we out. Boom.